start and configure license you remember we done license in ltm video how we can do you need to click next and then activate and then you need to put there are two type if you already connected your management is already connected to internet you can do it automatic either you can do manually okay manually and also automatic it's two way you can do it but anyway in my case i can do it automatically because i already connected to the internet so click on next when you first time login okay it's asking that there is no license then click activate now it's asking a uh, base registration key so i already request three and this is the last one i will use the two i already use so copy this one go back and paste this one okay and then there are two method to do it automatic and manual but anyway my management is connected to the internet so i can do it automatic okay and next it will connect it will take some time and let's go back let me show you so there are two way to do it manually manually you need to type uh, tosser and you have to we already done this way by the way but anyway right now i am doing uh, automatic okay so it's come up now what you need to do you need to accept this one By the way, you can request three keys, okay, which is expire in 30 days. So when you create an account on F5 and you can request. So let's go back. Yeah, so it's doing now. So it will take some time and maybe it will log out. And then when you log in back, then you can continue. Okay, so it's a login now. So click on login. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, so it's done. License part is done. Now it's going to resource provisioning. So we already cover resource provisioning as well. Uh, we have what is dedicated, what is nominal, what is minimum, and if you want to disable. Okay, these are the resources which you want to allocate and for management there are small medium and large okay anyway we already done the thing which i'm interested in local traffic ltm nominal and the second thing which i'm interested in application security which is asm so click on this one and this is also nominal and license all these are licensed by the way you can enable flood protection services as well and DNS you can enable and access policy and the one this one is uh, advanced um, firewall you can enable that one as well and what else yeah that's the last thing is also you can enable but uh, right now these two are enough for me this is what we want uh, local traffic manager and application services so these two I enable nominal and for management I give them small there is medium and large and you can see disk and memory allocation here and this is CPU allocation which you can allocate them and click next it's okay okay next thing it will ask you device certificate so device certificate we gonna use the default one okay so let's go to device certificate okay so this is uh, a device certificate what you can do just click next no need of device certificate management ip configuration this one this is by default automatic it's okay leave it as a automatic if you want to configure ipv6 you can configure ipv6 host name let's say uh, asm uh, asm.local 
ASM test dot local suppose so ASM test dot local and host IP address okay and this the time zone let's change the time zone to my one Riyadh so let's go to uh, Asia this is America Asia and I believe there should be Riyadh as well yeah it's better to change the eyes here so yeah a root uh, if you want to disable them root account password is admin at the rate a b c one admin at the rate a b c one ssh is enabled and if you want a restriction you can put restriction these are allowed all addresses if you want to specify only those ranges will be allowed they can take ssh but anyway in this case we are using lab so it's okay and next so platform is done oh, what else then they will ask me about the network i'm not interested in network neither in redundancy and all these things it's okay if we are in real world but in lab it's okay i will configure separately so let's see now it will configure all these details and it will go to next thing next thing is network okay so keep in mind this is our topology i just need to configure only one interface 192.168.1.10 okay because it's a one arm deployment and i have three server which i need i want to manage them okay so it's done and now they are asking redundancy vlan ntp dns sync and all those stuff i am not interested i will do myself and click finish so this was setup utility so setup utility is complete and now it's showing you the main screen okay and it will show you the menu as well if it is a license then it has to show us security and network and vlan and configuration etc okay so let me go to main and by the way it has to show us now yeah it's come up now so here is uh, dns related local traffic means ltm and security this one is asm so asm modules is there and also ltm modules is there and rest of the thing is also there if you want to configure which we will configure a bit later but for now it's done this was the basic uh, uh, setup utility to configure first time in license etc okay next thing what we need we need three nodes to configure then pool for these three nodes then virtual server we need and blah 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 and then all those stuffs we need which we will do in next step